Well, hey everyone, it's Dragon Otaku here, and I'm doing a video that's not JoJo. Anyway, um, so yeah, first episode of Goblin Slayer. Uh, full disclosure, I have read the first chapter, half the chapter... I read a, I read a tiny bit of it right when it was first announced. Um, just kind of get a feel for it. Um, everyone was telling me that it was a really good dark um, fantasy story, and they knew I really liked dark fantasy stories, so I figured I'd check it out. You know, this was a long you know I don't know like a, over a year ago at this point. <clears throat> um, so I have a vague idea of what I'm getting myself into. As far as things go, <laughs> um, I know there's a lot of internet controversy about this right now. Literally, my entire Twitter feed is nothing but it, or was nothing but it. I, I, I was probably mm -hmm. calmed down by this point. Um, so we'll see how it goes. You know, like I said, I have a vague idea of where I'm going with this. Um, my setup's a little weird right now. Uh, my desk died the other day, and uh, so I pulled a small table out, and I have it um, being used. I got my uh, webcam on a pod, which is helping out a bit. Um, thankfully, my monitors didn't break, but it's an old. It was an old desk. I mean, what what can you do? My chair broke a couple days before that. Um, so I pulled an old one out of storage. So, yeah, I got to replace all that crap now, finally. It was all old, but, you know, it is what it is. Thought my headset finally gave up the ghost, but, you know, I, um, I managed to, it's just got a real bad short in it. So I mean, you may occasionally see me have to dip down to mess with the jack. All right, well, we're going to get started here in, uh, three well, hold on. Let me uh, let me pull this over. Three, two, one. Like in the uh, ambient mood setting they got going on right now. I love that eye effect. Manticores, the fate of particular adventurers. <laughs> sure, you could, buddy. Well, of course you are. <laughs> Every D and D. Campaign starts out the same way. Well, all, either they meet at the adventure hall or they meet in the bar, the tavern.
<laughs> Depends on the DM right there. I have wrecked low level adventure parties with a handful of goblins, man. Just wrecked them. TPKs, man. Total party kills. <laughs> goblins can be real freaking nasty when played right. That's kind of how you goblin slay. <laughs> you just barge in. <laughs> Big mistake there. I was just going to comment on the lack of the OST, but then it pops in, so you know. <laughs> Level one clerics. <laughs> Limitations, just like in D&D. Oh, they do. You, you got to remember, this, there's always side paths. They're not smart, but they are crafty and they learn. Nice effect with the fire spell right there. One of caster types in imp actual implements, like in certain versions of D and D. Jesus. Oh, she ain't looking too good. You get stabbed. Mm. 
I'm not used to fighting in a cave, man. You're screwed. Rip. No, she's not all right, but <laughs> mm. don't blame you there. Fucking goblins, man. That's why I almost always play a dwarven, a dwarven fighter slaughtering them. Oh, I hate goblins. Just for this type of shit. Because this is what happens. Fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> That makes two. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> oh, silver rank. Kill me. Yep.
this short <laughs> to the to the point. <sighs> They've done a good job portraying horrific shit without actually showing much. Actually, a lot of people. Will He's being smart. Mm-hmm. I've wrecked many a party like that. This guy might actually get her through this shit. <laughs> he knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. Take up the shaman first. The hob will be the issue. Probably not for him, but for most parties. Low level especially. <laughs> Got a total power metal soundtrack going on. Dig the hell out of it. Covered him in fucking oil. They might wish they were dead, though.
Poor fucking thing. God damn. Playing dead. Gotta. I think the artistic choice of how they're presenting this right here a lot. I love that effect so much. Yep. Good idea. <laughs> oh. Okay. So <laughs> she partied up with him at the end. Oh. Like, okay, so, uh, um, I'm gonna let, the, let this music play for a minute. Let's kind of soak it in for a sec. We'll talk about some technical things first. Um, a couple CGI points that kind of like were meh for me, but overall I was digging it, you know. In the animation, it's, you know, look like White Fox, you know, <laughs> which I always like how they do shit. Um, second bit, um, I dug the, um, I dug the OST, right? Is that song, that changed right there. I, that's something I didn't dig was the OST a lot. Um, uh, he seems fascinating as hell. Um, I'm digging the main girl too she's pretty cool um as far as graphic and gore and all that shit goes this really wasn't that bad honestly to me 
this wasn't really that brutal or that extreme. It was pretty light compared to some things, you know. And it left a lot of shit up to your imagination, which is a big. Okay, next time. Which is a big positive for me as far as shit goes, because I like when they leave shit up to your imagination too sometimes, you know, because it's a, uh, you know, sometimes what you can imagine can be way worse than what they can show. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock made a wonderful living doing that shit to people. <laughs> um, and like I said, I know people found this pretty controversial. Um, it is what it is. I see both points of view. I do. I do. Uh, for me, it wasn't bad at all, you know, but. You know, I could see this upsetting the hell out of some people. Like, for me, man, I found it this sad and depressing and made me want to kill goblins. <laughs> Which I think is a desired effect that they're wanting to get off of you. They want you to feel kind of disgusted. And they want you to really hate goblins. I mean, I think that's pretty much the effect they want you to go for. And with that, they completely succeeded 100%. Um on the other hand, what they also did with that is they wanted to show you the idealistic party that you're going to see in most fantasy stories, you know, and they just totally subverted the characters, you know. And most fantasy stories, what you would have had would have been the main group getting together, going on the adventure, and then that would have been that. Maybe have a loss or two later down the line. But no, and then we got a damn near TPK. And all their little hopes and dreams, you know, all their, you know, which I vaguely remember the manga showing some flashbacks with the characters. I vaguely remember that. Which they, they chose not to do that, which probably was for the best, honestly. Uh, might have uh, felt um, more hammed in otherwise, you know, to elicit feels. While they just wanted to kind of, almost like surgically in this show, with the way they did it. They wanted to be very surgical with it. They wanted to just, you know, boom, boom, done, you know, fall out. As opposed to, you know, dragging it on a bit. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to feel disgusted. You're supposed to feel angry and rage out against the, you know, against the goblins, which, you know, they, they succeeded in that particular feeling as far as that goes. And like, like I said, I played a lot of D and D and, you know, it's reminded me of D and D a lot, actually. Um, uh, goblins are fucking brutal to a low level party. You know, they're, they're nothing to a mid-level party, man. But a low-level party can get completely reamed and ruined by a gob just a handful of goblins. Set up smartly, you know. <sighs> Even some of the tricks I tend to use in, you know, D&D &D set or low-level D&D settings, man. They, they, uh, they actually had in here, you know, which is nice, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm a D&D &D nerd. I can't help it. Whatever. But, Yeah. All in all, I enjoyed the first episode. I'm uh, looking forward to see where it goes from here. Um, um, I'm glad she joined the party at the end. Uh, so, was, you know, she wasn't just a one-off character. You know, we actually get this. You, she, it looks like she's going to stick with it for now. So that's cool. Uh, I imagine she might actually just be the um, the point of view character, so to speak. Um, the new character getting introduced into the world of adventuring with him being there. Uh, he's very mysterious. He's very, um, he speaks, but he speaks like in a very direct to the point way. He doesn't, you know, phone's exploding. Um, in a very direct to the point way, which is, a always a fun type of character type. So I imagine she'll be way of kind of unlocking him a little bit, bit by bit by bit over time, you know? He seems to have an obsession with killing goblins, which, uh, to me, spells tragic backstory. <laughs> oh, man. Looking forward to seeing more. Anyway, 
Well, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the uh, next episode. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon set up. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.